Hi, Entropians. It's me, Mikhail. And today, I thought I'd like expand on how to make PED in Entropia. Hi. Um, one of the things I do is I own a shop, and actually, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I own four shops on four different planets, and I'm okay at making a go of it. Um, that being said, these are not small investments. So for the new player, this really isn't feasible. Um, and I know that Pig Bennis has a good video on how the auctions work. So I'll try to remember to put a link to that down below in my links. Um, because I think you should watch that to learn about how the auctions work. But if you're a player and you're looking to invest in the game, you may want to look at getting a shop. And I wanted to show how pricing the items work so that you understand that, yeah, I set the price, but there's still a fee. Um, and this is true of, well, just about any, I mean, all the shops, because they're all in land areas, so to speak, planet partners, whatever. Um, and then they get that fee, the owners of wherever the shop is. So like in Twin Peaks Mall, if I sell something that has a two ped or I mean a two peck fee on it, the mall owner gets that. I don't get that. <clears throat> but the nice thing about shops is that I don't have to deal with the auction fees. The bad thing about shops is that I gotta have stock on hand for all you people and you guys are buying from like like crazy, like I can't keep up. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> Well, maybe I should complain, cost of crafting these days. And I do craft and hunt for my items. So they're looted or they're crafted. Occasionally, I will find someone that has a bunch of loot that they want to unload from me or to me. And I always pay, I never just pay TT because then people could just TT it. You know what I mean? Like I want to make it worth their while. So I always pay a little bit above TT, but definitely below markup, especially if it's small stacks of stuff. And if it's items, then I try to do like, eh, like half. Like if it's if the market value is 110% based on auction sales, then I might pay like 106, so that I when I put it in my shop, I make a little. That's kind of how I approach it. And I'm looking for something to actually put in my shop. To show you. Oh, I know what I can show you. It's if I'm coordinated enough to do this with one hand because I'm holding a piece of pizza in the other. <laughs> I guess I could put it down. <laughs> I might have to put it down. I think I got stuck in the steps. Oh, uh, maybe. No, I'm okay. All right, we'll try this some more. Mm, good pizza. I probably shouldn't chew with you. Here, I'll put this down. Anyway. In my shopkeeper upstairs, and I am on the Mon on Monaria, so I'm at my Monaria shop. In my shopkeeper upstairs, I have some blueprints, and they're all TT plus one because I give a crap. I get so many extra when I craft. Whatever. Come and buy my blueprints, and then I have the chips, lots of chips, lacerating attacks, and combustive attacks, and electric attack and now I gotta throw a different kind in here because something sold so I think I'm gonna put a corrosive attack two. Mm. so I drop that in there it brings up a pricing window I always look at what the market value is now these are all imported from Rocktropia wink wink so I incur transport costs so that's also part of it um, now, the thing you need to know about the markup, which I know I've talked about before, but I'm really bad at actually conveying the whole message, is I try to price pretty close to the month. And I also look at how much PED has sold in that time frame, because if only five PED had sold at 113%, well, then it's either rare or people are stupid. I don't know. So then I can price accordingly, whatever I want. But in this case, 400 PED of these suckers which, you know, they're 20 pet a pop full TT. So what are we looking at there? Not math again. 
20, there's 5 in 100, 20, we're looking at 20 chips, roughly 20, 21 chips, maybe 22, sold at 113%. But again, I incur transport costs. So, and my, t my value is 1240, so $1.24 would be 10%. So really, I'm going to hit like $1.50 maybe, and see what that puts me at. 112, oh, I want to go a little higher. See, this is where my math skills suck. I just kind of guess until I get it where I want it. <laughs> so if you're shopping, oh, I guess I can just go to pad. If you're shopping in my store and you see me pricing stuff, just wait for me to click OK, and it's probably too low of a price. You can snatch it quick. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I'm going to put it at 116. We'll see how it does. I can, and the nice thing is, if if it doesn't sell, I can change the price or I can pull it out completely. And the other thing I occasionally do, even though it is rare, is I will take things on consignment where if someone, if a friend of mine has a bunch of stuff they want to sell and they're not around to do auctions or, or they don't want to deal with auctions, I'll put it for sale in my shop. And if it sells, then I take a cut. And it's usually not very much, but... That way I don't have to procure the item. I just have to price it and I get a little cut. So that's kind of how that works. And then the other thing is I wanted to show you, I priced it retail price at 14.44 ped for this chip. However, there's a four ped fee. So if I look at how much I really priced, I really priced it at 1440, but then they tack on four pet, four peck. And that goes towards this percentage markup as well. So that gives you an idea. I hope that's helpful. If it's not, mm, oh well, thumbs down me. Thumbs up me. Maybe if you didn't like it, thumbs up me. <laughs> that would mean that only one person loves all my videos because they thumb down all my videos. I don't know why. So shop ownership may be in your future. There's almost always FOMA shops for sale. There's almost always some kind of Calypso shop for sale. You know, look into it as an investment option in addition to your Calypso land deeds and your underground Arcadia deeds. Who knows? Maybe maybe it'll pay for your gameplay too because it pays for mine. Um, and then the other thing is how do I get my ped when something sells? Well, I get it the same way that all of you get your ped if you hold land deeds or Calypso shares, like here, oh, look at that Calypso share. Yeah, yeah. I love migration season. The thing is, okay, I have Calypso shares, and I have, I think, five now because I got rid of some of mine. Transfer. Compensation is only if Mindark feels like they owe you PED. This will almost always be blank. Player shop income. Now, the cool thing is, it tells me which shop it sold out, so, uh, mm, which shop it sold out of and the value change and the balance so right now i have 36.69 ped just sitting there waiting for me to collect and i don't need it right now so i'm going to leave it and i can page through quite a ways but you know the sucky thing is i can look back and go oh something sold for 227 ped from my Monria shop but I have no idea what it was because it was back on June 26th I wish Mindark would put one more column in here that would have the item link oh do I wish Mindark please listen to me okay anyway and this pretty much goes back to the to the dawn of time since I had my shops I mean I don't know how far back I can go really 25, 29, oh, look at it, I'm page 40, page 50, holy crap. That's the other thing they should put there is like an end arrow and a first arrow, last, first, because holy crap. I wanted to show you my first sale, but I don't think I can go back that far. My hand's getting sore from clicking. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Well, anyway, back on September 3rd of 2015, 
I had sales in my Twin Peaks mall. I don't remember. Wow. I guess I bought my Twin Peaks mall almost a year ago. Time flies. So anyway, and then here's my Arcadia land deeds. Woot, woot. 0.46, baby. So really, that's it. And I click transfer. I get the money. It resets to zero balance. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. But, uh, I can't talk because this pizza is sitting right here and I want to eat it. So good luck, Huff Big. If you have any questions, of course leave a message. I try to respond to everybody's comments, whether I, whether it's telling me to kill myself or not. <laughs> and if you have any video ideas, throw them at me and I'll see what I can do. So TTFN. Bye. Yep, that's so scary the way I look in this. I love my disco though but my eyes get real, real weird when I wave. Okay, bye.